So you want to be a real estate agent. You want to make big paychecks and tell your boss that you're 95 to Well, hold up there, Speedy Gonzalez. Before you up and quit your job, there's a few things that you need to consider before you give your two week notice. I'm gonna tell you that I'm quitting. What's up guys, Mike here, and in today's video, I'll go over the steps you need to take to become a real estate agent. Next, I'll give you an estimated breakdown of the fees you'll need to pay to get started. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll reveal how you can get my free bonus for this video. So stay tuned for that. Now, 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 a quick disclaimer. State requirements can vary. So what I'm going over today is a general kind of overview of what most states require. Some states will require less, some states will require more. Please contact your local real estate division's website for more information. So if this is your first time here on my channel, thanks for stopping by. I make videos about real estate, investing, personal finance, and basically anything to do with making money. So if you like that type of stuff, go ahead and click that like button, Consider subscribing today and click the notification bell as I post here weekly and I'm trying to reach new eyes here on YouTube so I appreciate the support. It's totally free and it means a lot to me. Thank you so much. So what are the steps to becoming a real estate agent? Well, I know there's a lot of confusion around this and what you need to do and who you need to talk to, what you need to have. So I thought I'd make a video and break it down into 10 easy to follow steps. So with that, let's get on with it. So step one is understanding your state's requirements. As I mentioned earlier in the disclaimer, some states require more requirements of terms of hours and credits than others. You'll wanna check with your local real estate division to find out what those requirements are. Also, pay attention to the pre-licensing course breakdown of what you'll need. Some have different requirements for ethics and law, real estate practices, things like that. So you wanna make sure you get all that information correct. Step number two is selecting a real estate school. Now there's one or two ways you can do this. You can either do a school that's completely online, which is usually more cost effective, or you can go to a physical like classroom at a real estate school. You pay for the book, you'll go, you know, four nights a week from five to 9.30 or, or, or something like that. And they'll be a little bit more expensive, but you'll have a hands-on teacher and you'll get all the packets and things like that. So you probably have a better shot of learning more. It depends on your learning style and of course your schedule availability. Step number three is completing your pre-licensing coursework. All states require pre-licensing coursework before you will be allowed to go take the exam. You have to accrue a certain number of credit hours of pre-licensing before they, and pass their school test, before they will send you to a third party test proctor like Pearson View or one of them to actually take your state's real estate license exam. Determine how much your pre-licensing coursework will cost. Again, the school will have this in either an online version or a classroom version, as I mentioned. So step number four, studying for your pre-licensing exam. Before you can go take your state's real estate exam, you have to pass the school's pre-licensing exam first. Many students choose the online coursework, in which case your test will be given online. This is the path that I chose and I found it to be not much of a difference than going to a classroom. Don't be intimidated by the thought of studying online for an exam that you've never taken, even if you've been out of school for a while. People do it every day. I've put together a free bonus that will help you in this area specifically. So stick around to the end of the video where I'll tell you how to get that bonus. Once you pass, you'll have to obtain your official transcripts from the school as well as a course completion certificate. You'll need this to meet the requirements to take the state licensing exam. If you think you may need some extra help or guidance in this area of studying and preparing to take your pre-licensing exam, I suggest a prep program called prepagent.com. Link is in the description below. This program will help you study state-specific material so that way you can pass your real estate exam. I've actually used them before so I can attest to how effective their coursework and material can be. Almost everyone who completes the prep agent curriculum passes the real estate exam on their first try. The next step is apply for and schedule your real estate exam. Usually the application is around $25 to do this. You can go online through your real estate division and, find, and get a link to find out when and where the next real estate exam is being offered at. State real estate exams are usually proctored by a third party, so be sure to get the list of who those vendors are contact them to make your appointment. Make sure to get all the information that you'll need about parking, what time the doors open, what you can bring, um, 
if they allow food or drink inside. You're gonna to wanna to look at the FAQ sheet on their website to make sure you have all your bases covered. Typically, the school you received your pre-licensing credits from will have this information as they send people to that third party for the state exam on a regular basis. So guys, as you're getting ready in this step, it's I wanted to mention that some states at this point in time in your journey require background check and fingerprints to be completed or at least started. Before you go to the test center, I would call them and find out what they require in terms of documentation for you to be able to show up, have no headaches, and take that test and pass it. So you've passed your real estate exam. Congratulations. Now it's time to select a broker. Depending on the state that you're in, you may actually have to select a broker while you're still in pre-licensing before you've even taken your state's exam. Other states want you to get licensed first and then you go select your broker You know the, that week. But I don't want to downplay it. Selecting a broker is one of the biggest steps in your real estate career. Your broker can influence how you get paid and how you advance in your career based on the training that they have for you or don't have for you at their brokerage. Make sure you do your research and find the broker that matches up with your goals. Also guys, as the old saying goes, not all brokerages are created equal. Next step is passing your state licensing exam. Taking and passing your state licensing exam is one of the most important steps along your journey to become a real estate agent. Each state has different requirements for passing the exam, so be sure to find out what your state's requirements are. To help ensure that this process goes as smooth as possible, remember to possibly look into an exam prep course. Again, I recommend prepagent.com, link in the description below. So you've passed your real estate exam. The next step is to join professional real estate organizations. You'll want to become a member of your state or local multiple listing service and perhaps the National Association of Realtors. Why is this important? These organizations provide valuable networking tools and resources to help you along in your career. They also lobby for the protection of the occupation of being a realtor on a national level in Congress so that laws aren't passed that, that demonize and hurt the profession of being a real estate agent. As a member, you'll be able to attend national conferences and get access to valuable research that can help you stay on top of trends and best practices in your niche. Step number nine is completing your post-licensing coursework. There are a handful of states out there that require you to complete post-licensing courses within the first year of being a licensed real estate agent. My advice is to knock these out immediately as they will be very beneficial to you um, in your first year of real estate if you have some of this knowledge under your belt. Don't let this slip from your radar. A lot of agents put it off until the end of their first year of real estate and they have to cram or sometimes they don't even get the classes in if they're not available to take and then they have their license suspended, then they have to pay fees and it's just a, a big old headache that you could totally avoid. The amount of coursework varies by state, but it can range from a minimum of 30 hours of post-licensing to 90 hours of post-licensing. And lastly, you've done all that, now it's time to launch your real estate career. Once you have all your systems in place, let everybody in your sphere of influence know that you're a real estate agent. Soon you'll start to interact with potential buyers and sellers, and you'll be in business. Now comes the part that you've been waiting for, your first transaction. May come from someone you know, may come from someone you don't know. Maybe a buyer, could be a seller. Even if you're confident with the paperwork, it's good to have a seasoned real estate agent on your side or possibly your broker overlook what you're doing just to make sure you don't have any legal issues with your paperwork. After that's all done, sit down, give yourself a pat on the back because you are now officially a real estate agent. So guys, this brings us to part two of the video. What does it cost to become a real estate agent? Well, I've done the work for you here. I've broken it down into three categories, licensing and education, startup and first year costs, and business and marketing expenses. So online pre-licensing education, you're looking at a minimum of $100 to possibly $900. The first year post-licensing education, which again is not required in every state, it's usually between $100 and $200. This is after you get licensed. Testing fees, licensing fees, background checks, permits, I'd estimate low end 100 to high end in some states, maybe close to 500. And required continuing education. Again, those continuing education classes, a lot of them can be offered for free from title companies, so always check your with your title rep to see what they have coming up. Um, but if you have to take them from your association, they're usually $20 a class. So I would say to meet all of your continuing ed requirements, you're looking at between $50 in the low end to maybe $300 on the high end. And then there's joining your MLS. This could be between $300 to maybe $1,200 to $1,500 depending on your MLS and what they incorporate in that. That could be your lockbox, things like that. Um, 
than professional association dues, around 200 a year. Heirs and admissions insurance, you're gonna to wanna to have that or your broker may actually blanket all the agents in the office and provide that for you, but you will pay for it um, with each transaction that you do. There'll be a fee for E&O insurance, um, but uh, estimate that around $600 a year. Um, conferences and personal development, you'll probably wanna spend around $800 on going to conferences and personal development, maybe a coach, maybe a course, things like that. And then the last is business and marketing expenses. Now keep in mind, a lot of these items along with your licensing can be tax deductible as it's uh, education or business. Um, office supplies, if you work from home, that's fine. You're gonna need, you're definitely gonna need a laptop or a tablet uh, this day and age being a real estate agent. So I would say 300 to $700, maybe a little bit more. Internet and cell phone service, 100 to $400 a month. Vehicle maintenance and gas, $300 to 1,000 a year in gas and maybe some maintenance there and uh, need a website. So I would say, you know, $25 to $80, you can make a free one on Wix uh, with very affordable hosting, things like that. So again, that's an estimated breakdown, guys, for your cost to get started in your first year. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video, guys. As promised, I'm gonna give you your free bonus here that will help you pass your real estate licensing exam. All you need to do besides like, comment, and subscribe to this video is add me on Instagram at realmikegoodman. Send me a DM saying free bonus and I will send it over to you. Thanks so much for watching my video and I'll see you on the next one.